Hi, my name is Sophie Droke, and I'm so excited to introduce you all to the Madeleine Hayes. Many of you know of Madeleine as the swimmer or the girl who always has Starbucks, but I know Madeleine as a TikToker. During the lonesome months of quarantine, I spent a lot of time on TikTok, as did Madeleine. Seeing Madeleine's TikToks not only made my days, but it led me to discover that there's someone just as obsessed with her dog as I am. Just as her, er, thanks, sorry. Just as her TikToks made my days during quarantine, Madeleine never fails to cheer everyone up by going out of her way to, think, to help others. Thanks again for always plugging in my computer during French. Madeleine is someone you can always go to for some free advice or just some fun laughs, and she is one of the most loyal and genuine people I know, and the class of 2021 would truly not be the same without her. So listen up, because I know she'll have some very wise words to share with you all today. Give it up for the kindest and most thoughtful person I know, Madeleine Royer Hayes. My claim to fame is pickiest eater. If there's one thing I don't like to do, it is trying new foods. No matter how many people promise I will absolutely love the food in question, I am reluctant. I just don't want to change my ways. I already have plenty of favorite foods, so why can't I just eat one of them instead? Well, one Thanksgiving, my mom was utterly determined to change this. She was going to convince me to eat a radish. As my family gathered in the kitchen, conversing over appetizers, eight-year-old me glared at the little bowl of radishes. And then came my mom's first attempt. She calmly said, hey, Madeleine, why don't you try a radish? You love vegetables. I looked at her in apprehension, telling her, I would rather just eat my carrots. A few minutes passed by. She strikes again, saying, seriously, just one radish, that's all. I refused. More minutes pass by. The kitchen is clearing out. Finally, I am left alone with my mom and grandmother, and they take the offensive. They were relentless, throwing out bribes left and right. Next thing I know, I caved. I've done the unthinkable. I look down, and there it is, a little baby radish in between my two fingers. I close my eyes, bring it to my lips, and finally bite into it. Immediately, the most bitter taste I have ever known overcomes me. My fight or flight kicks in, and I start sprinting. I run straight to the front door and into the yard where my brother and grandfather are throwing the football. They look up at me confused, and I shout, never eat a radish. To this day, my family still laughs about this memory. While this moment may be one of the most dramatic ones of my childhood, it was an important day for me. It may not, ended well f may not have ended well for me as I hated the radish and honestly can't say I have eaten another one since, but I did learn something. Unfortunately, my mom was right. It was good for me to try that radish. If I hadn't taken that one simple bite, I would still be living my life without proof that I do not enjoy the taste of radishes. <laughs> to me, trying new foods is terrifying, but I know I need to do it. Even if it ends up in failure, at least I can say I gave it a shot. Something like trying a new food may seem insignificant, but in the grand scheme of things, this one simple act gives me knowledge about myself that I can use moving forward and allows me to know what it feels like to experience something different. If we do not push ourselves to do things that make us uncomfortable, we will never be able to move forward. A quote my dad says to me often, that has always stuck with me is, the only constant in life is change. In today's world, this could not be more true. Each day we come to school not knowing if we will be back the next week or even the next day. We make plans for trips or meetings only to have them canceled. We practice for games and meets only to have them rescheduled. We cannot ch control the changes that are thrown at us throughout our lives. However, we can choose how we adapt to them, allowing us to move through them. If we do not try new things, we are stuck in our ways forever. And in this world where change is inevitable, we must try new things to adapt to the changes around us. You could try taking an AP level course instead of an honors one, 
talking to someone, someone you are not close with at school, trying out for a sport you've never played, or maybe applying for a job. These may seem like small actions, but a lot of little things can create bigger changes or developments in your life. In March, when we first entered quarantine, I decided to start a COVID journal. I only kept up with it for about two months, but in that time, I valued it as an outlet for my feelings of confusion and worry. Writing this down gave me a new activity, while also making me more considerate of my own feelings and more thankful for all of the people and opportunities I have encountered in my life. So just like I tried the radish, I encourage you all to start by trying something small. Try facing your scary changes with a positive attitude first. Next time you have a day that seems like nothing is going right, I challenge you to try to find one positive. Maybe it is that your family said good morning to you. Maybe it is that your car started this morning or your phone is fully charged when you wake up. Or maybe it is that you simply got out of your bed. Once you find one good part, you can take that attitude and apply it to your other challenges. What matters is not the difficulties we face, but how we choose to respond to them. You might be surprised at what you can accomplish in good spirits. To my amazing class of 2021, we have been through an awful lot of change together. Thank you for being the positive on my worst days. You all have so much to offer and are such beautiful pieces of this changing world. I encourage you all to try new things, even if it is something so small as finding one positive in your day of wrongs. Trying to adapt and trying to be happy are all we can do. And finally, I leave you with this. Never eat a radish. Thank you.